Hey everyone, so I'm excited to be able to take you through my life as a college student here at a home environment. So now I am moving forward into logging in into my virtual production class. And today's lecture is just gonna be about uh, learning um, the cinematic language within virtual production. And I'm very excited to know how it's executed. So I'll be uh, moving forward onto that. This is just exactly how the home environment can be at times. Such as when you're trying to uh, be engaging with your lecture. Well, that was me logging off from my virtual production class. And honestly, shout out to Professor Vang. Honestly, it's always a good time to hear from his experiences as a filmmaker. Um, the way he gives us his advice and just the way he brings forth so much professionalism in what he has learned and just in the way he's grounded in his style. So kind of one thing I want to emphasize is where I tune in for my Zoom classes. The reason why I like that space is just because it gets me out of the room. Um, I think what I need to do is buy a desk and kind of move those stuff around that area. Um, I don't know, I just feel like I just don't like being in my room for some reason. I think it's just the temptations, you know, about like wanting to take a nap or, you know, wanting to be in bed with the computer and stuff and do the homework. No, like I need to be active. Like I need to do that. So now that I was able to take you through um, and give you an idea of what my just everyday routine is and how I just think that each of us are used to um, just different parts of the house and whether uh, we like to do our classes in a room, so in the living room or in the family room, where we choose to do our homework, where we choose to study. My brothers and I are in school at the same time. We just don't want to conflict with each other in speaking over somebody or just interrupting because there's been times when um, it's either I interrupt them when I try to say something towards the class or they end up interrupting me when I'm presenting something or you know someone's just talking way too loud and stuff so it is a challenge to be able to control I guess um, those volumes and I've tried different areas here at my home to see which one I'm most comfortable at. Let's move on to a small segment that I've organized and put together a list of tips and tricks of what I personally use to study and do my homework. I like to just simply put on my music. I usually just put in like chill study music. Uh, I listen to like instrumentals. That type of music just really motivates me to concentrate better. One new thing that I'm trying out is study groups. We get to spend time in getting ready for a test or just simply reviewing things. It's also a great way to be spending that virtual time together and either catching up and talking about other things. I also like to use Quizlet just due to the community of students that are there to collaborate and to provide you with the best resources in order for you to study and achieve that test. And finally, the other thing that I want to mention is to simply just rewatch lectures. So those are the things that I've listed down that made me feel that I needed to share. And I encourage you to try out those things and maybe it can help you out in some way.